Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today with a roundup of patterns and fabrics to get you inspired and excited to sew for party season. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to it all below plus a link for our newsletter for a weekly dose of inspiration straight to your inbox. So there are so many gorgeous patterns and fabrics to choose from and I've picked out some of the key trends for this year for you. So I think you're going to love um, seeing all these sparkly pretty fabrics and dreaming up ideas of what to make. Um, I'll start with my party dress for this year, um, which isn't necessarily on trend. Um, I don't think this is particularly a trend, um, but the inspiration for me was Missoni. So if you've ever seen the Missoni designers, um, the designer and seeing the dresses and the clothes that they make they're very much um, about geo sort of stripy prints in like earthy colours and, and rich colours um, and when we bought this fabric I fell in love with it immediately and knew I just had to make a Missoni inspired dress um, so hopefully you can see as I'm sat under the camera if I move like that I'm hoping it will pick up the beautiful sparkles in this fabric it's just so gorgeous um, it really does sparkle and glitter under the light um, so I'm hoping you can pick that up and see that I have done a full review on this dress as well so that may be before this video it may be after this video but just stay tuned to the channel and you will see the full review but I just thought I'll give you a quick uh, twirl and show you the dress um, so this is this is it and yeah I've pattern matched the chevrons and the stripes down the side seams um, and then also across the sleeves and it's finished with a little neck band and little bands around the cuffs. It's a really simple easy pattern to sew and I thought it worked beautifully for this fabric which is obviously really glitzy and um, you know busy so I thought it needed a nice simple pattern with simple lines and it worked out beautifully as far as I'm concerned I hope you think so too um, it's a knit fabric so it's stretchy um, and I'll give you all the details as I say in the full review video about the fabric but it was really lovely to work with um, it's got a soft underside I chose to line mine um, just for a bit of extra warmth and it is sort of semi-opaque I'd say so if you're wearing black tights like I am you probably don't need to line it but I chose to line it just to make it that extra bit special because it's a party dress um, but yeah the fabric was beautiful behaved really well and the pattern was so so easy um, it took me a little bit longer because of all the pattern matching I wanted to get that right so you can see I've pattern matched across the sleeves at the front and I've done that at the back as well um, but if you were sewing this up in just a plain fabric or a fabric that didn't require pattern matching oh my goodness you'd have it whipped up in no time it's the Rio Ringer shirt and dress a Ringer t-shirt and dress by True Bias it runs up to a size 18 which is a 41 and a half um, bust a 39 and a half waist for the t-shirt a 40 and a half waist for the dress a 43 and a half hip for the t-shirt and a 47 hip for the dress it's got bicep measurements on it as well so if you need to be aware of that area if you know you have fit issues there uh, they're there for reference as well but yeah it's a super simple sew but I just like the retro style of it um, I added a neckband in a black contrasting fabric this is our John Caldor ritual jersey fabric which I'll link below for you I used that for the um, bands at the sleeves and around the neck um, and I used our stretch interfacing on that as well I'll link all of this below for you um, and that made it look like a really professional um, neckband and that just worked out really well um, and yeah the pattern came together really quickly it just took me longer because of the pattern matching but if you're making it in a plain fabric it would be super quick but even with the pattern matching it didn't take that long so it is a very simple make but I just love the idea of a party dress that is so simple and comfortable and easy to wear and then the fact that you can then go on to make loads of t-shirts um, it looks nice in just a plain cotton jersey for summer as well if you just want a simple day dress to wear with pumps or sneakers or whatever you want to call them um, so yeah that is my first bit of party dress inspiration for you 
and then I've just brought the camera a little bit closer so I'm closer to these other gorgeous fabrics that I'm about to show you. So the next trend or party dress theme that I looked at was silver. So silver has been super popular this year. It's a bit of that sort of 90s vibe coming back in um, but it is everywhere and how much or how little of you if it wear is up to you but we've got a gorgeous fabric that I think ticks the box beautifully and I've got two different patterns. I think I've got two for each of the fabrics for you just to give you some options and choices. So the first, um, the silver fabric or the fabric that I thought ticks the box beautifully, rather than it being sort of really in your face silver, um, which some of the sort of clothing is out there at the moment, this is just so lovely. Again, it's a stretch fabric. So, you know, party dress that's comfortable. Yes, please. Um, and what I like about it is you've got this sort of charcoal, dark grey background and then you've got that really pretty silver floral design on the top and just it's metallic it's shimmery it's just absolutely perfect for parties and it's got good stretch and recovery um, and it's got good drape and movement as well so you know lots and lots of opportunities um, and possibilities with this one so um that is the fabric I chose and then the two patterns I chose, the first one is McCall's 8142 um, which is designed for stretch knit fabrics and it's got three different views, it's got a one shoulder um, almost like a Grecian looking dress um, fitted at the waist and then with a simple gentle um, gently sort of A-line skirt with a, a thigh slit at the front um, and then you've also got the option for a um, dress with a very a, a V at the front, um, sleeveless, again fitted at the waist, little bit of gathering at the waist and then that same sort of gently A-line skirt with the slit at the front. And then you've also got an option for a mini dress with long sleeves that's got the same bodice, um, the V at the front, and then it's got a ruched short skirt and then a balloon sleeve gathered into elastic at the cuff, it looks like. Um, so yeah, three gorgeous options there, and I think any of them would work really well, this fabric, but the ones I particularly thought would work well were the single shoulder Grecian sort of design or the V at the front that design and they both look a bit sort of drapey which is another trend that I've seen coming through really strong this year. Um, that pattern runs up to a size 24 which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. And then the alternative pattern I thought would work really well for this silver fabric as well is McCall's 8339 which also comes in 834 40 I think it is or it might be 8338 it's a number one or above or below I'll pop links to them all below for you um, but this would work brilliantly and it's a v-neck with three different sleeve options or two different sleeve options possibly actually um, yeah two different sleeve options so it's got a really wide short sleeve or a really wide longer sleeve that finishes just above sort of mid um, lower arm um, so a bit of drama in the sleeves nice and loose fitting nice and easy to fit and then it's got a gorgeous twist at the front which is I've seen in loads of on loads of the catwalks and on loads of the high street brands I've seen this sort of twisting and ruching of fabric um, and then you've got options for a straightforward mini skirt version um, a sort of looks like it'd probably be just below the knee version with a slit at the front and then a full length maxi version with a slit at the front and I think that would work brilliantly and the larger size goes up to a 38 so it's a very size inclusive pattern as well and I'll pop links to everything below for you. If you like the content I produce as well, uh, do jump on and have a look at our website because that's definitely the best way you can support me to keep making more content. The next trend I want to talk to you about is red. So red is absolutely everywhere this year. It's the colour of the season. I think um, 
the palette generally for autumn winter this year we, we've had like year, last couple of years what they called endorphin dressing loads of bright colors which i absolutely loved and then the color palette this year has gone very understated very sort of classic autumn winter browns blacks creams all the neutral colors but then the one color that really sort of stands out is red and that is absolutely everywhere um so i thought let's have a look at that for a trend and um, we've got this gorgeous new fabric um it's an x designer dead stock fabric and it's i think it is a polyester all the details are on the website so you'll you'll get links below as i mentioned yeah it is a polyester but it is an x designer dead stock so it's something that was used in production they've come to the end of production and it's been left over so um it, otherwise it would have gone to landfill i checked that with our supplier um but it's got this lovely draper movement and it's super shiny and it's got this really subtle animal print um on it i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and perfect perfect party dress fabric um so the pattern i chose for that one when i looked at the uh, trends around red and party dresses it was very much slip dresses sexy spaghetti strap numbers that sort of thing and the perfect pattern I think is Nomi 2032 um, which is a gorgeous um, sort of uh, slip dress it's got a sweetheart neckline it's got a double spaghetti strap so one goes over the shoulder in a traditional sense the other one comes up into a halter neck and then ties at the back for a cute little detail there um, it's very fitted um, it's an empire line it's got bust darts coming up from the empire line and then they go down into a princess seam down the skirt. You've got the option to make a short skirt with two very small vents, um, or you can make a maxi length skirt with a thigh slit. Um, and it's got waist starts at the back for a good fit. And it's also got a little bridge across a deep V at the back, um, which should probably, I'm sure you could cover up your bra strap with that, which would be handy, um, but also just gives a bit more support and keeps those straps where they need to be. This one runs up to a size 26, which is a 48 bust, 41 waist and 50 hip. Um, and yeah, I just thought it would look beautiful sewn up into that animal print red fabric. And then if you wanted to do the red trend, but you're not kind of full on all out red, you just want a nod to the red trend or you, you don't want a solid red. Um, the, I chose this fabric, which is a new uh, X Designer dead stock. It's a viscose satin. It is a lovely, lovely weight. A really nice weight, really good weight, not flimsy at all. It's got the feel of a satin, it's silky soft and it's sort of like a peachy coloured background with this red floral print on it and when I saw it I just thought how unusual is that? It's just such a lovely way to tick that uh, red trend, lovely drape and movement as you would expect from a fabric with those properties. So that was the one I chose as an alternative to that bright red um, animal print fabric. And the pattern I chose for that one was the Vicky Sews Emily dress, which is a gorgeous wrap dress that's very sort of structured looking. It's got um, sharp shoulders, may even suggest using a shoulder pad with that by the looks of it. A long sleeve, it's crossover at the front, it's got waist starts and bust starts um, and then it's got a waist start on one side and then the skirt is asymmetric. And asymmetric was a big trend as well when I was researching this and looking at party dress trends. Asymmetric is very popular this year as well. Um, and then it's got fish darts, sorry, it's got waist darts at the back on the body and the skirt for a nice shape there. And it's got shoulder darts as well, which I always quite like. I think I get a better fit with the shoulder dart and sometimes I add one to get a better fit. Um, and that pattern runs up to a UK 24. Um, which is 116 centimetre bust, 96 waist and 122 centimetre hip. 
Um, so yeah, that was the pattern I chose that one. I do apologise for my voice. I've got a bit of a cold coming and um, yeah, it's a bit croaky. So I'm sorry about that. I'm doing my very best for you. Um, the next trend I wanted to talk about, as I mentioned with the Vicky Sews dress, that asymmetric skirt hem, um, I also saw a lot of asymmetric sleeves and, and dresses with one sleeve or an asymmetric sleeve. That was a definite, definite trend. And Vogue 1674 ticks that box beautifully. Plus there are a few other views with this dress as well. So there's actually four different options with this dress by the look of it. Um, the one I chose is the off the shoulder. It's got like, it comes off the shoulder on one side, comes up to the neckline there. And then you've got a full length sleeve on that side and a full length sleeve on this side, but it's it's this part of your body is exposed. You've got one shoulder exposed. Then it's very fitted at the waist and take, goes down into like a tube skirt or a pencil skirt. Um, but there's also versions that are sort of off the shoulder with crossovers as well. And that was another key trend off the shoulder as well. So it ticks a lot of boxes, runs up to a size 22 which is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip. And I thought just a classic black, I chose our Fawn fabric, which is a John Caldor. Um, and it's just a classic black stretch fabric. You need a fabric with quite a bit of stretch in it for that pattern. I had a look at this one. I think this has got enough. Um, and you could just make a gorgeous figure hugging, simple little black dress, which would be um, in your wardrobe for years to come, I'm sure. If you're not sort of down with the whole bodycon sort of thing and you, you kind of prefer something that's a bit looser fitting, it's not for everybody having a figure hugging dress. Um, the alternative asymmetric um, sleeve dress that I chose was Simplicity 9776 and again this is another one that comes in a larger size range as well. It's the next number up, I think it's 9777 um, and I'll pop links to them below for you. But this is a Mimi G design, looks very simple to sew but you've got that um, it's no sleeve on one side on this one and then the other side is a, a wide drapey sleeve and then it's the waistline looks like it's elasticated yeah it says that you need elastic elastic for it um so yeah i'm pretty sure that the waist is elasticated so nice and comfortable again and you've got the option for um, like a knee length skirt or just above the knee length skirt or you can make it a maxi and this is to be sewn up in woven fabrics and I thought our John Caldor Prestige in wine would be beautiful for either version of that um, for the party season and again if you want to kind of tick the red box the red uh, trend box uh, but you kind of not up for the proper pillar box red this wine colour colourway is a nice alternative and feels very very festive so that was my choice for that one and then finally velvet has seems to always be popular at this time of year um you know it seems to be something that is always there in some guise or some form and i found that again this year when i was looking um so i thought i must include this beautiful velvet uh, stretch velvet fabric that we've had in which has got this gorgeous sort of silvery um background and then the dark um we're sort of like a midnight sort of um no, maybe like a French navy. It's not the darkest, darkest navy. It's definitely a bluey navy um, against that silver background. It's like a stretch velvet velour type feel. Um, it's got good drape and movement, as you can see. So you could use it for any number of dresses. And I just think it's so pretty. Um, and these are always really popular, these printed velvets, whenever we get them in. Um, so I thought that would make a lovely Astoria dress by um, Stylark. So this Astoria dress runs up to a size 30, which is a, let me just double check, uh, 58 and a quarter bust, 50 and a half waist and a 61 hip. Um, so really size inclusive, like the Mimi G pattern and the McCall's pattern I shared with you, that was super size inclusive as well. Um, 
there's a long sleeve and a short sleeve option with this and, and what I like about this pattern it's very very simple t-shirt dress with a twist it's literally got a twisted sort of tie at the front at the waist so that's going to like draw you in at the waist um, but the rest of the dress is very very simple and I thought it would show off that fabric beautifully it's like the perfect fabric for that and it did say it's designed for knits um so yeah that would work brilliantly and then an alternative to that if you want something a little less fitted than that i thought mccall 7970 would be a nice alternative this is a pattern for woven fabrics but it also says stable jerseys and i think you probably would get away with that velvet and i would make view b which is a crossover at the bodice and then a mini skirt and then it's got a beautiful dramatic flutter sleeve and i just thought that would look really pretty that runs up to a size 22 which is a 44 bust 37 waist and a 46 hip so i hope you're feeling full of enthusiasm for a bit of sparkle a bit of glamour something pretty i hope i've given you lots of inspiration to get sewing uh, don't forget you can find links to everything i mentioned below and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time